Hello, my name is Aiden from Team Galaxy. Hello, my name is Ted and from Team Super Build. And today we're going to explain to you about about the rules of Vex Robotics Rapid Relay. The game is primarily composed of of robots in pairs taking turns in zero, in 60 second matches to score as many points as they can by scoring um balls into the go into these goals and and passing to each other as much as possible. So, we're going to go over the game objects and the dimensions of the field. Rapid relay is played on a on a 6 foot by 8 foot field where the main game objects are these 150 millimeter plush balls. There could only be two of them allowed on the field at once. Robots start in starting zones that span for the entire width of the field. Starting zone one and starting zone two. Before a match starts, each of the two robots will have their own ball stored, stored in their intake. When the match starts, robots can immediately get to scoring into the goals. To score, robots can clear switches that are very important to the game. Switches are made up of these blue discs that are the center of the goals. Tad here has just used this robot to clear the switch. Clearing a switch means using the ball to push it back. Um, to push back a switch or clear it earns you one point. And to, and to score a goal gives you one point. So every time a robot um, scores, scores a goal for the first time in a match, it equals two points. When the balls fall through the goals, they land into the, into the pickup zone. This is where the two loaders of the match will move over here, pick up the balls, and run to the loading zone over there. The loader will deposit the ball inside of the basket. Um, there is a 50-50 chance it will land on either side of the load zone. Robots cannot pick up a ball from the load zone until it contacts the floor of the field. I will show you how it works. There. Now he has just um, loaded his robot with a ball. Now he can go back to scoring more and more and passing to his alliance teammate. Speaking of passing, let's, let's get on to that. Passing is an important rule and, and um, portion of the game that helps you to score most of the points you would score in a match. Switches, as we said, the blue discs, have an important part in making sure you get those points. The more switches you clear, the more, the more points you will get for every pass you make during the match. Thirdly, for this explanation, here are some important rules you need to know to avoid getting a match disqualification. Each match, match lasts 60 seconds. Um, as the first 30 seconds pass, drivers from each team need to switch controllers. So for each team that plays in the match, there are two drivers and one loader. In the final 15 seconds of the match, as we explained before, the rapid load period starts. This is when um, all three balls will come into play. A common misconception is that th three balls coming into play m is the same thing as three balls being allowed to be on the field at once. No, this is not the case. Um, for the entire match, it's only two balls can be on the field at once. Robot dimensions. Robots can only be 15 inches tall, around as tall as these lower goals, 29 inches wide, which is marked as these yellow markers on the starting zones, and up to a titanic size of six feet long. Another rule that we need to know has to do with passing. When, when robots pass to each other, as long as a ball of, on, another, on one robot makes its way to another robot across the field, as long as that second robot touches the receiving ball, that counts as a pass. But two, and two robots cannot be contacting a ball at the same time. This also results in the match disqualification. That's all we need to explain to you for now. Happy competing and good luck this year. Thank you.